A rotating step shaft is loaded with two constant forces and a torque that alternates between 0 and 1800 pound inches. The shaft is simply supported at points O and C and it's made of AISI 1045 cold drawn steel, which has a fully corrected endurance limit of 40 KSI. Assuming fatigue stress concentrations of 2.1 for KF and 1.7 for KFS, what should the diameter of section BC be if the design factor is 2.5 and we're using the DE Gerber and the DE Goodman criteria? This is the first example for the shaft design main video, link below. From that main video, we know that we can solve for the design diameter from the factor of safety equation from both criteria. Looking at these expressions, we know that we need to look up the ultimate strength that will use the design factor as the factor of safety, and that for the expressions A and B that we derived in the main video, we're gonna need to find the mean moment and torque and the alternating moment and torque besides the given fatigue stress concentration factors. Since the torque will fluctuate between 0 and 1800 pound inches, the average or mean torque would be 900 pound inches and the alternating torque value would also be 900 pound inches. These torque values are valid for whatever location along the shaft from O to C. For the mean and alternating moments, however, we need to find the location where the normal stress due to bending is maximum. A sum of moments about O in the Z direction will allow us to find the reaction at C in the Y direction. A sum of forces in the Y direction, the reaction at O in the Y direction. A sum of moments about O in the Y direction will allow us to find the reaction at C in the Z direction. And the sum of forces in the Z direction, the O reaction in the Z direction. These values that we found allow us to draw two shear diagrams and two bending moment diagrams. One pair of diagrams in the XY plane and another pair of diagrams in the XZ plane. The normal stress due to bending will be maximum at the fillet where the stress concentration happens. With the moments about the Y axis and about the Z axis at B, we can find the total moment at B by using those perpendicular values as the components. If the given forces are constant and the shaft is constantly rotating, a point on the surface at B, which was once under compression because of that bending moment, half a turn later will be subjected to tension with the same magnitude of the bending moment. This means that the moment will alternate between a positive and a negative value, always fluctuating around zero, which happens when that point on the surface is located on the neutral axis of the bending. Having the four values that we were missing, we can substitute them to calculate the diameter following the two fatigue failure criteria. For two more examples on shaft design, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.